God calls us to accept messed up, unspiritual, carnal, obnoxious, doctrinally misled, just plain wrong people. Our topic today, accept others. Romans 15 verse 7. Therefore, receive one another just as Christ also received us to the glory of God. That was Romans 15 verse 7. Sometimes people don't make it easy to accept them. They can be bad-tempered, selfish, critical, irritating, dismissive, aggressive, and pompous. Sometimes you want to give them a piece of your mind, give them what they deserve, anything but acceptance. The command, accept one another, is inconvenient. But if Paul has stopped there, we might dodge the directive by saying he obviously meant good, reasonable, and acceptable people. But he says, just as Christ accepted you. Were we good, reasonable, and acceptable? No, but he accepted us, flaws and all, and he still does. Somebody has to straighten these people out and require them to act right, you might say. You mean like Jesus required before he accepted you? Roman Christians had difficulty accepting their less experienced brothers, and Paul corrected them. Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment, for God has accepted them. Romans 14 verses 1 to 3. Straightening people out isn't our department. Accepting them is. God calls us to accept messed up, unspiritual, carnal, obnoxious, doctrinally misled, just plain wrong people. You don't have to approve of, like, or agree with them, but accepting them isn't optional. There is no elite, privileged, insider class. We occupy the same level ground because of two realities, our sin and the cross. Jews and Gentiles despised each other even after salvation. Each wanted the other to change and become like them. But Paul took the axe to the root of that tree. He says, for Christ himself reconciled both groups by means of his death on the cross, and our hostility toward each other was put to death. Ephesians 2, 14-16 Our job is to accept people. This implies that we have no option than to love them, because God is love, and this love has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5, verse 5 And secondly, we should endeavor to walk in love and let God adjust them, including you and me. Our meditation today is taken from 1 John 4 verse 10 and 2 John 6. 1 John 4 In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. 2 John 6 And this is love, that we walk according to His commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, so that you should walk in it. For your Bible study, read Hebrews 10 verses 19 to 39, Exodus chapters 11 and 12, and Proverbs 4.